Hello and what's up everyone, Thunderbob here, and I am checking out some more Diablo 2 Resurrected. Uh, I am checking out a character tonight that was sent to me by a viewer. This was sent to me by Watermoon Slice. He was kind enough to send me two builds, a really cool Barbarian build and this Amazon build. This is dubbed a, strace, a Strafe Immolation Dragon Boazon. It's similar to like the Tesladin or the Dragon Paladin in that it uses Dream and Dragon to get Holy Shock and Holy Fire respectively. And then you can also use Hand of Justice to get some additional Holy Fire. Uh, he gave me some instructions. You can use Brand with Mara and Dracools. If you switch to Hand of Justice, he recommended using these rare gloves that give you the increased attack speed, so you hit the next breakpoint. So I'm gonna I'm gonna test out both of these and see how they run. We'll look at the gear real quickly here. Brand with a chance for amp damage. Dream for your aura. Dragon for the other aura. Mara's, Gore Riders, Raven Frost, Razor Tail, Carry On Wind, Dracul's Grasp. And then unchange out hand of justice with these two and i'll probably switch those out halfway through and we've got conviction on the mercenary through infinity yeah chains of honor it's all rushes so we're gonna go through and i'm gonna try to kill endariel and we'll see where it goes from there let's see oh i should probably look at Basically, 77% um, pierce, almost maxed uh, penetrate, critical strike, and then here you've got strafe maxed, immolation arrow maxed, nothing over in javelin skills. Of course, fire arrow for the uh, synergies. So the basics are. Immolation and Strafe. I got Strafe on the left. I got Immolation on my right. I got Decoy too. My my assumption on the gameplay is you use Decoy to kind of get everyone together, soak up a little bit of damage, and then use the Immolation arrow. Make him go boom boom. I'm curious how this is going to work, because on the on the Paladin, it actually um, was more efficient than I was expecting, though I was playing on Hell Player 1 difficulty, not on Player 8, so I'll, I'll probably swap it out partway through. I really liked that build, and even though it's not maybe the best... Wow, that was like a perfect layout. Even though it's not quite the best, um, I had a lot of fun with it. Strafe is pretty effective in player one. I did have a strafe zone back in the day. Um, I should say first I had a multi-shot zone and then when that got nerfed, uh, I switched over to strafe. I don't think it was one of my best characters, but there's something cool about it where you can just kind of stand still and it just auto targets everything. Yeah, I forgot how long the delay was on Immolation Arrow. It's like a good, good two seconds, isn't it? But it's doing enough for this difficulty, at least. Uh, in the next couple days, I'm planning on doing like a, a new Sorceress through Act 1 and Act 2. And probably doing two videos, one that'll show like the full playthrough, and then like a second one that is more along the lines of like the highlights and, and kind of like tips for a new sorceress. Um, I'm not a speedrunner by any means, but I've watched a lot of speedruns for Diablo 2, and I know a fair bit of tips to kind of accelerate your early game, so keep an eye out for that. I'll probably be later this weekend. Assuming I don't have any more emergencies in the house.
There are a lot of fire immunes in catacombs. I always forget. Conviction helps, but... I feel like you're probably better off using strafe against those even after breaking the immunity because they still have high resistance. And this is working reasonably well in player one, but I'm really curious what it's going to look like in the player eight difficulty. Which I'll probably switch to after I kill Landurial. Did I miss it up there? I bet I did. I was lightning immune, or uh, lightning enchanted. Yep. You get to like, know the architecture where you're like, yep, this is the right way. I kind of lost that. I used to be able to like, like Mephisto. I used to do so many of those runs. I could, I could know which direction it was every single time. There's a couple of cheat sheets. When I do my video with some tips, I'll share those cheat sheets. Um, they're really useful. Yeah, that was pretty good. Set it to players eight. I realize I didn't switch bows, so I'm gonna play like a minute with Brand, and then I'm gonna switch out Hand of Justice in the gear. Yes. Maybe Arcane Sanctuary. Get those guys clumped together. Let's hit them with Emulation. Oh, they're physical immune, that's right. Yeah, the cooldown doesn't feel great on Immolation Arrow. It's like, uh, it works, but I feel like I should be able to cast it more often than I am. Still killing pretty fast. I gotta see what that is. And once I clear this pack, I'm gonna switch weapons. I got no mana coming in. I'm just gonna back off and uh... This should give me a higher fire, uh, fire aura, holy fire. Immunes. Yeah, the attack speed is a lot higher now. You can just see that straight go. But I feel like it's doing less damage per shot. But I am definitely getting a lot more procs. Like, look at my frames. It's almost hard to play. For this build, for really any of these proc based builds with a ton of crazy spell effects that are stacking, you may need to lower the settings, because I'm running a 3080 with a, you know, 10th Gen i7, and it's dropped into 30 frames, which to me is not very playable these days. I'm used to playing at 144 when I can. I do say, um, outside of some of these niche builds, the ones that revolve around lots of procs and stuff, uh, I generally get good performance, like, if I start a new character and I'm just playing from the beginning, 90% of the time I'm at 100 frames per second. I keep getting stuck.
Yeah, it is not the most effective player 8 build. It's again, it's a fun build. I keep getting mana stolen. It's a fun build, um, very similar to like the Tesladin or the Dragon Paladin in probably effectiveness. They're fun builds, but I don't know that they're, you know, gonna be your farming character. They'd probably be like the, the mess around character. I lost my mercenary. I'm just gonna straight these guys down. As a player one build, and maybe even like a player three or four though, I think it could be pretty effective. I gotta go get my Merc. And I gotta see what amulet that is. Let me click on the portal. You have a day. Blah. I know. Well, I think I might end it in okay. just a minute. Uh, I say this usually at the end of each video, but if there's any specific builds, characters, areas, anything you want to see, just leave a comment or shoot me an email. I will be happy to try to provide it. Um, and if you like this video, you know, why don't you check out some of my others? I've got a ton of Diablo 2 content, a ton of VR and new games and all kinds of stuff. If that's what you're into and you like it, think about subscribing. I would definitely appreciate it. So once again, Thank you everyone for watching, have a good night.